Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah ma ba'd. Benefit number 28 taken from Jalal al-Fahm of Ibn al-Qayyim's book where he's talking about the merits of sending peace and blessings upon the Messenger of Allah sallam. Khayrun anam. The best of all creation. He says, Athamun wa ishurun. Benefit number 28 of sending peace and blessings upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Annaha sababun. By sending peace and blessings upon the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a means for you li wufur nur al-abd al-sirat. When you make du'a to Allah, O oh Allah, Allahumma salli wa sallim, O oh Allah, send peace and blessings upon the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa When you make du'a to Allah, to praise Him, to protect Him, the more you do so, a nur and a light will surround you while you need to cross the bridge, which extends over the hellfire. May Allah make it easy for us. This is benefit number 28 that Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, is mentioning. Wa fihi hadith. Is there any evidence for this? Ibn Qayyim continues, he said, there is a narration, ذَكَرْهُ Abu Musa, meaning Abu Musa al-Madini, وَغَيْرَهُ And other than Abu Musa, some of the ulama have mentioned that there is a narration in this regard, and you know it can be used as proof to reinforce this point, which is that when you send peace and blessings upon the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you make dua for him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is a means for you to have a nur, yawm al-qiyamah, when you need to cross the sirat. What is this hadith? There is a hadith in Dar Qutni that's been attributed to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on authority of Abu Hurairah. He said, As-salatu alayhi nur ala sirat. Sending peace, or blessings, should I say. Sending blessings upon me is a nur when you need to cross the sirat. فَمَنْ سَلَّ عَلَيَّ يَوْمُ الْجُمْعَةِ ثَمَانِينَ مَرَّةِ Anyone who sends peace and blessings upon me or anyone who sends blessings upon me making dua all Allah wa sallam wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad 80 times on the day of Jum'ah, غفر له ذنوب ثمانين عاما 80 years worth of his sins will be forgiven. There's another narration authority of Hurair as well. للمصلي علي The one who sends um, blessings upon me. نور على السرات There will be a nur upon him, surrounding him when he needs to cross the sirat. ومن كان من أهل النور لم يكن من أهل النار This is another narration. Whoever is from the people of Nur, they will not be from the people of the fire. Now these two narrations, and narrations similar to this, have been weakened by the ulama as sakhawi rahimahullah, so these narrations are weak. Others from the ulama have weakened these narrations uh, for a number of reasons. People are weak in there, there are cults, there are people who are unknown. But I'm sure we've mentioned this before, we can mention it again. Why did Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah then mention a weak narration when he himself probably knew that it wasn't to the highest level of authenticity. This is because Ibn al-Qayyim is not using it as the basis of forming an action in the Sharia. This is known as using hadith for fadail. We are doing an action because it's already been established in the Quran, the Sahih Sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Ya ayyuhaladheena wa sallu alayhi wa sallim wa taslim Oh, you believe, send peace and blessings upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Qulu, Allahumma sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam. So he told us to do these actions. Therefore, these have been founded in the Sharia. However, these weak narrations, can we you know, have some hope that this will be given to us? Perhaps this is what Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah, is mentioning. Therefore, benefit number 28, it can be suggested that there will be nur given to this person Yawm al-Qiyamah and it will help him cross the bridge with the amount of salat and salam that he sends upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that He facilitates for us our affairs and that He makes this act of worship easy for us and that He makes the crossing of the bridge a crossing with a great deal of ease and security and calmness on a day of great terror and despair. Allahu Alaihi Wasallam.